Peter, come on. Time to get dressed for our Valentine's Day dinner. We don't want to be late for our reservation. Reservation? Yeah, I decided we're going someplace nice this time. Not like last year when we went to the Outback Steakhouse. But it's out, as in the gay way. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! Peter, please! He's our waiter! He's the only waiter we have! Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. Scott, I'm finally ready to hear the specials. Well, happy Valentine's Day, Lois. Let's have a dying marriage side face kiss. Mwah. Well, I better set out a can of tuna fish and a cigar for Arthur Valentine. I can't wait to see what he brings me. Uh, you want to tell us what the holy hell that was? I'm afraid it's something we made up that we finally need to deal with. You see, years ago, when Chris was in preschool... <laughs> Peter, poor Chris didn't get a single Valentine today from any of his classmates. What? Why not? Apparently, he's not well-liked. Some of the kids think he's weird because he takes his shirt off to pee. Yeah, I taught him that. That's also called peeing. Pee? Pee now? No, no, Chris. <laughs> Why no Valentines? Hey, 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 stop crying, Chris. You, you, you're gonna... You, you're gonna get tons of Valentines. I am? From who? Um, from Arthur Valentine. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Who's Arthur Valentine? Only the most magical man ever. And he comes every Valentine's Day on, on a, a, a purple Vespa to, um, to bring candy and sweet notes to children who've managed to not use any swears in the last year. He does? Uh-huh, and he has a long beard. Oh, and, and he's got an eye patch. But, but not for medical reasons. He just likes the look. Plus, he, he wears a cat in a hat hat and sometimes a scarf, no matter what Lois says, because it gives him a youthful vibe and adds some color to his face. We were just trying to cheer Chris up. I assumed he'd outgrow it in a few years, but, Peter, it's time we have a talk with Chris. We've got to put an end to this Arthur Valentine nonsense. <sighs> I guess you're right. Well, I best be going anyway. Donna and I are spending our Valentine's Day in Johnny Cochran pajamas, just caressing each other in a very beige bedroom. Yeah, and hopefully Bonnie and I will do a sexy bath night like last year. It was amazing. She laid out a trail of rose petals, and I elbow crawled to the sponge and shower chair. I go down to the video store and put my hand on Love Actually at the same time as a woman, and I go, oh, ho, 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 oh, ho, 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 ho. What about you, Brian? What are your plans for Valentine's Day? What? Oh, uh, no real plans, I guess. Ha! <laughs> Looks like Brian's the only guy with nothing going on. You can come over to my house, Brian. I thought you had that whole thing with Bonnie. I do, but she needs help lifting me into the shower chair. <laughs>